basically we had a um, Easter weekend here, so that was a long, long weekend. So instead of those alligator clips, I went through my box of um, spare wires and all that, and I found some of these original, um, these would be APC, um, good old um, UPS, you know, those server rack UPS, and they actually had the, <laughs> had the series wires well, already made up, and they're, you know, I think they're 10 gauge, yeah, 10, 10 AWG wire, so they've got the properly crimped and, and whatnot, so that worked way better. So what I actually ended up doing, because kids were complaining how slow it was, so we ended up putting one, two, three, four, five, six, six times six volt batteries, so that's 36 volts, and they loved it, uh, it goes hard. Um, the motor got a little bit warm, didn't get too hot, that was fine, but you know, they were having lots of fun. Not too worried, the control didn't get hot at all. I'm sure it can probably handle 36 volts. It, so, um, and I'm not too worried. So if this motor does blow up, I'm just gonna buy a 36 volt brushless motor. Or maybe brush, but probably brushless motor. Get a new controller. I'm gonna get new hand grips. Um, you know, accelerator, what do you call it? Throttle, new throttle, new brakes levers and and whatnot so but what i'm going to, i'm probably just going to keep running on these until they get much until they get better on it and i'm going to start ordering parts for it so they can still ride it and still have fun so one good thing was um the one good thing was i had um these these spade connectors and the original connector for the power into the um speed controller was broken but this one i'm still using one alligator crocodile clip and I was just hooking that up to the positive. So I'm gonna fix that right now. I might even put a proper um might put an actual an actual proper um connector on here, like a spade connector. Go to put a proper spade connector onto this so yeah, you can get a good connection. So you don't need a BMS or anything like that for these. And I'm not too worried, I've got two spare ones. And I don't really use lead acid. I use lithium ion batteries. So for the moment things going really good and I'm really impressed with it, it's lots of fun. Um, think about pulling this chain off and uh, degreasing it and using the electrolysis to de-rust it and pull the wheels and bearings apart, clean all the dirt out, give it a good wire brush. Eventually we're going to repaint. It's got a lot of surface rust on this frame. And that's, I think that's where the um, wires were rubbing on here, rubbed off the paint. So. Give it a good clean up. Like I said, I'm going to order some new forks for it. This, this back brake is not connected, but it still works fine. So I'll just go to the local bike shop and get the, some appropriate right cables for it and so you can have rear brakes as well. But yeah, kids love it. And I'll, what I'll do, I'll post, coming up right now, I'll post some quick clips of the kids riding it. So on the workbench now, so on the same box I found those, um, you know, series spade connectors. This is from an, uh, also an APC power supply. So I'll just trim the ends off. I'm going to put some spade connectors on there. Oh, got my trusty box of spade connectors. And these are the, these, these will fit 10 gauge. That'll slot right nice onto there. What I might do if I can, I might splice in another two wires. And um, so I can have a, for a charge port out the sides. I don't have to take the top on and off the whole time. So, took the speed, I took the speed controller out. This is the input. Yeah, I'll get that mask and take off there. So obviously the, the Connector broke the male connector broke for this, so these need a good clean up. They're quite um, quite dirty, but they'll fit nicely into here. But put a bit of shrink wrap over the end there, and these will go straight to the battery. 
and I'll put some shrink wrap over the top here too. That's the plan. Got a wire trimmers. Probably needs a bit more than that. Clean up. Beautiful. That worked out well. What well, I actually might do is just, just cut another little bit of wire we can stick in there. Scrap wire or so we'll just, just get the charge port. That's my output cable from my DC DC converter, so male or female. Ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna put some shrink wrap. Let's give that a quick, quick clean. Little trusty heat gun. Nice. Okay, let's clean up these. These are the speed controller connectors. Wide brush, I think, might be a bit better. The cleaner now. Always have to be careful with my polarity, I suppose. Let's get some shrink wrap on those. Nice. Another thing we're going to do is fix this ignition, hot wired ignition bit. I don't know why it's got a fuse in here. If any of you guys know why there's a fuse on the on ignition, um, please, um, please leave a comment about that. I would guess it would be um, if this wire shorted out or something else, it wouldn't blow the, the um, charge controller. That, that would be my stuff. Hey. So here we go. This is the deal, what we're going to do with it. It goes on like that. And the positive goes on here. Whoa! Positive and negative, yeah. Let's double checking <laughs> that right way around. I don't know if you guys saw that. Let's connect up the motor. Actually, you might just get that a quick clean. While we're in cleaning mode, let's have a look at those. Focus. Yeah. That needs a good clean. Let's give that a clean. This is on the um, charger, charge control side. By doing that, it feels like it's getting more current through to the motor now. Obviously, shorter cords, thicker gauge power wire, better connections. Obviously, not corroded connections. Let's get it off the bucket a bit. There we go. Yeah.
Okay, so another problem I have, because I put these BMX handlebars on here, which I think is probably good because my kids are quite, probably getting a bit big for this. The youngest one could do with the side ones, but the cables are quite short. Originally the speed controller goes here under the seat bolts, but it won't reach there anymore because this cable is going up this extra length here. So it's a bit dodgy putting it down like that, which it's okay, I'm not too worried about it. But eventually what I might do is extend the wires, just splice these and solder a longer length onto it. I wish I had some um, tool I could pull those out and recrimp them. But yeah, I might just splice it, solder an extra length onto it. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, I think the next thing I might tackle is this ignition switch. And the other half is on there. So, I gave up on this. It's just going to take too long, too much work, too much effort. Oh, look. Come here. Your friend. Who just popped up on the table? <laughs> anyway, um, so I just pulled it out with little micro pliers and pushed the screwdriver in there, pulled it out. I held it with my little pliers and opened it up. We'll re recrimp that into it. That's the other side of it there. So I'm just going to run and restyle that, put some shrink wrap over it, put some flux on there, clean it up a bit. I'll well, use some new wire. This is from a power supply, same colour, looks good. I'm going to des desolder that. There you go. So I'm just going to measure that up. Get a bit longer. Put some flux on here. Pre-turn this one. Oh yeah, ready to go. We're in. Multimeter in diode mode. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's not on. Maybe the switch is not working. Ah, that's the wire there, for those two. Turn the switch off. Nothing. Okay. Just checking. Sweet, so it's the first two. Solid. Solid on the second one. Solid. I suppose before I put shrink wrap on, should I test it? There you go. Back in. Wire fixed. Okay. Moment of the truth. That was a bit loose. Not nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Hey, so I pulled the jack out and I've got two crocodile clips on here connected to my multimeter. So turn it on. Nothing happens, right? Wait, wait till I jiggle this. 
So jiggling around, yeah. Look, look how much plays in the switch. So yeah, you don't want that. If you bounce it around on the bike, it's gonna turn on and off the whole time. So the switch is kind of gone. It's, it's not really worth replacing it. I do have standard on off switch, 10 amp switch. That'll work fine, I think. But, um, I'll check the um, diameter. So, got the calipers here. So this is about 18.4546 millimeters around that. 19, yeah, so 20 mil. Sorry, 20 mil. Instead of bothering about that barrel key, I'll just put a um, 10 amp switch into it. And it's got two spade connectors. I'll just hook up two spade connectors to the. Okay, reinstalled it back to enough. So now we've got the charge port here, so we can charge. And then we got power off and on. So it's all off. Nothing. Sweet. So that's a couple of fixes there. I'm um, working out this. So what I'm probably going to do is I, I measure what what the plug is and that's like the actual voltage of the batteries. So what I'll do is probably just make a voltage divider across the outside of this. So it'll, it'll change 36 to 24. So hopefully that might work. Just give us some some gauge of where the batteries are at. But yeah, from there that should be sweet. That'll keep them going for a while. It's plenty of work to do, but this will probably conclude. The old, um, this video, guys. Anyway, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. You know, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that as well if you don't mind. Cheers, guys. Catch you on the next one.